Hi, my name is Luchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2 Legendary Let's Play, episode 40, 1996, month 10. Released a AAA game last episode. It's selling better than I expected. It might actually make money. I don't know. Even if, even if it doesn't, it's not going to lose a ton, which is all that really matters. Currently working on Duel of the Wizards 3. Um, looks like my marketing team doesn't really have anything to do, but that will happen. Let's just check. How are my consoles doing? For hype. 93 and 93. Well, we don't need to hype those up. Luchero Orc is starting to... This negative numbers. It's growing closer to zero. Slowly. Cost optimizations are done. You know, durability is pretty much maxed. Just trying to get some games out. There's only 12 games out for it, right? Whereas Luchero Goblin Pro, 111. A little better there. But the Luchero Goblin Pro is also, also old news, right? It's tech level 3. So we'll see what happens there. Backup development team is working on a free update for Alien Boxing 5, which is selling fairly well. Fairly well. So looking at my training rooms here. I do have this person who's maxed out. They are maxed in game design. They are maxed in programming. So I'm going to put them up into the music and sound room. But what this means, is I need to be careful when people start getting maxed out in here because this person does not go in the sound room. They go in the main development room. Right? So I, need, I just need to be careful that I don't put them in the wrong room. I mean, I could put them, like once they've maxed them using sound, I could put them in using sound room, but all that point in game design and programming will be completely wasted, right? Which wouldn't be good. We don't want that. We want to do it right. So, um, is there any demos I could do? I feel like I just want to do something, right, with this group, but there isn't really... I guess I could look for a couple more people, a couple more game designers, maybe. Employee search, uh, game designer, all rounder, automatic. Uh, let's go with skilled workers at least. Oh, how? What if I do a specialist? Only 18% chance. And it costs 50k. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that anyway. I think it's time. We're far enough along. Although it's just I'm trading, you know upfront cost for training time essentially i don't know if it's really worth it that's that's a good question actually is it all it is is training time right i don't have to i won't have to train for as long anyway dual the wizards 3 one of my sound specialists has found an old piece of music he created in his library the track fits the current game extraordinarily well 159 extra sound points we'll take it i mean that's not gonna you know make or break the game but we'll take it <laughs> right i'm not gonna say no to that all right, so there we go. We got our game designer. So let's start them training in the game design room. And eventually they'll work their way through all the rooms. And another one. Okay, nice. So they won't be in there long, right? Because they're already at 70. All right, research team. Let's not have anything to do. Hardware, all this stuff is obsolete. We'll never use it. No point in spending the money on it. Updates and add-ons. We wanted how much would a free update for Lead Dead 2 be? Ooh, five million bucks. That's a lot. Is that worth it? Let's cut. Let's cut a few of these more expensive things here. Let's try that. Two million. Let's see if that is worth it at all, or is that just a waste of, of, of millions of dollars? Holiday season is coming though, which is good because you know sales are definitely down. Um. Yeah, we can hire you as well. All right. I think we're far enough along in the game. We can do the pre-release of the press. Ah, let's just end automation instead. There we go. And we didn't get the extra one, and that's okay. That is okay. Duel of the Wizards pre-release for the press. I'm pretty sure this is going to be worth overhyping. I think. I hope. <laughs> Should be. But yeah, the games are definitely starting to take longer. I definitely do need to expand these rooms. As people start getting maxed out, right? That's when we expand the rooms. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and overhype. And maybe this is maybe it's not gonna be good enough, right? We'll see. Alright, so that lead dead update is done. Hopefully it trends the sales back up. Although we're not really gonna be able to tell because the holiday season is out, is starting. So will the extra sales be from the holiday season or will they be from the update? I'm not really gonna be able to tell, unfortunately. So what type of game do I want to make next? What's popular? What sticks out as being popular and unsaturated? Adventure? Puzzle? We did a puzzle. 
I mean, I could do another puzzle. I could do a puzzle or a puzzle game, right? Yeah, let's do a puzzle game. Let's do a puzzle game. So let's make sure the old puzzle engine is fully up to date with all the new things because there has been a lot of new things come through lately, right? We've got new graphics, we've got new AI, we've got new physics. Fancy. This is going to be fancy. But there's a lot of things we don't have uh, stars into. American dominance high. All right. If they want this engine, they're going to have to pay a bit for it. 50K, 5% profit sharing. Hopefully somebody takes it. All right. Best graphics. Nope. Or ugh. why are best graphics and best sound so much harder to win than these three? <laughs> right? I win these all the time. Pretty consistently. These two, on the other hand, not so much. I mean, I have won them. Don't get me wrong. But not often. All right. Overhype it through. Suckmania Drift 4 off the market. Nice $23 million profit. That's what we'd like to see. Ooh, we got new fans. This would be tech level five. So this is something we actually want to research. We actually definitely. So uh, tech level five console stuff is on the horizon then. Well, I mean, we're literally starting the research right now. Um, they're polishing. They're on the last thing. They're on the last thing. They're bug fixing. Overhype went through. So we're just kind of waiting there. Although we're going to have to wait for this engine. Oh, we got several people maxed out up here. All right, so they're just graphics artists, right? Yes. Two more. Although I don't even, not even sure if I have two that aren't full to move back. Although I think it's the game testing room that's more. No, I only have one because these two are close enough that we're just going to leave them right there. All right, and then game testing room. All right, well, this is just, there's only game testers in here. When somebody said there's a, there's a sort button. Sort by higher? Where's? Somebody said in the comments there was a button I could hit in this room. It was like a sort by highest button. Best skill? And we just leave that by default? Yes, that is a better way to do it. 100%. So there's three game testers. And I don't think that I have three people to move back i don't all right game testers are all maxed so this room is going to need to grow because when the rest of these get maxed right so now best skill still music and sound right so they can go in the music and sound room and i'm pretty sure i do have two people here and that there's only eh, no there's still Music and sound is a little behind, for whatever reason. They're behind the pace that the other rooms are setting. I have one person <laughs> training research. Ah, see, they're untalented. They're a slow learner. That's why, because everybody else in the research room is already maxed out. That's fine. All right. Um, let's actually go ahead and expand this room now before I have to. Try to get ahead of it, right? I'm not going to do automatic furniture. I will place them myself. Do I need to place them myself? Probably not. But I'm going to anyway. Nine more desks. That's more than I need, I think. But that's fine. Yeah, I probably need a radiator or two. There's going to be a bunch of stuff that it asked me to move to once I close this. Because it was stuff that was up against the wall, right? All right, and actually, is quality high enough in this corner of the office? Yeah, it's fine. Is heat fine all throughout? Yes. Okay. All right, so we got room for all them extra people. Yeah, so I'm going to have to polish this a little bit longer than I want to. Well, I don't have to, but I want to wait till that engine is ready, right? So actually, it's not too long. This isn't too bad. This is a reasonable amount of polishing. Now... <laughs> I say that, but it's not actually done yet. Um, another game tester maxed out. So the question is, do I want to hire a couple new game testers? I mean, eventually I'm going to want to make quadruple A games, right? Yeah, 32, that's an awfully low starting point. Awfully low starting point. Game tester, let's just go 50 and efficient. 
called inexhaustible. It doesn't take breaks. That'll be good. Okay. And, ooh. Efficient and inexhaustible. The dream. Ooh. I got an achievement for having $500 million. Nice. But, yeah, the uh, holiday season's been relatively kind. Right? Sales-wise. Moving 60K. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking this game might actually make money. This AAA game. Zombie Horrors 2, on the other hand. Not making money. Consoles are selling well over the holiday season. That's what we like to see. Uh, unlucky, though. Yeah, I'm going to pass. All right, so finished development. Self-distribution, of course. And, okay, so my first game for the game station. Morale mechanics got a bit better. Dynamic Indestructible World got a bit better. So this was old tech, right? This was tech level three, I believe, right? Still 98% though. Okay. Okay, so that game should sell well because it's for a lot of systems, right? So now we can do a sequel to Puzzler the Dragon, the main, like not Flight of the Puzzler, not Puzzler the Dragon's great, great grandson, just straight up Puzzler. Puzzler 10. It's a lot of Puzzlers. Let's not forget that early on Puzzler Kind of bailed me out, right? Ooh, puzzle and interactive movie. I don't remember. <laughs> when did I decide to do that? Why do I not remember? All right, so let's just bring that up my guide. Make sure we have it right. Do I have a puzzle license? I think it just... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, I think I just used the last one, but this is the last one. I'm going to leave it at double A for now, but there's a very real chance this is a triple A game. Very real chance. Um, we'll go multi-platform, PC, Mac, uh, the Uranus, and the Orc. Let's just check what else is out there. We need it needs to be tech level 4 and internet capable, which, no, there is nothing else. So we'll roll with them, turn on all the languages. But yeah, ugh, it's not a lot of stars in this engine stuff. Is there any contract games out there I could do? Hopefully get a star in some of this stuff. I mean, there is. I could do this. It's only double A. I'm probably not going to make a lot of money. It's an action game. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do one really quickly. So let's go Cyborg Warrior. So Androids. Is Cyborgs a thing? I don't think so, right? Oh, it is. All right, so Androids and Cyborgs. Action and what? Well, we're just going to do something that we need to point in need a star in. I don't really even care if it matches, honestly. Um, so action, does action go with first person shooter? And it does, it does fit. So that's fine. So play uh, teenagers. Um, yeah, let's, I know this engine isn't optimized for first person shooter, but I only need a 50%. Um, and I want to get stars in this stuff, right? Um, I could probably take copy protection and anti-cheat off, but I'm going to leave them on. Oh, do I actually? Okay, obviously I've done an action first-person shooter already because I know the sliders. Let's just check my guide. Are those actually correct? Four one seven five. Yes, they are. And these sliders, 10, 40, 30, 20. 40, 30, 20. That works for me. All right, so we're not going to turn everything on here. But we got to cut eight things anyway. <laughs> um, well, controller support. We don't need controller support because it's a PC game. We don't need password saves. We don't need save games. Actually, we can probably cut some of these more expensive ones. As long as I don't need a star in them, right? Uh, uh, still need to cut two more. Tutorial? Yeah, we don't need no stinking tutorial. See, I'm not going to make a lot of money off this, but as long as I get some stars, I'm okay with that. We're not going to do a whole lot. Oh, my graphics team is apparently crowded. So let's spam some more desks in here. Similar to the QA room. And of course, we need some heaters. And boom and boom. And 
throw a gold record on the wall here. Game of the year. There we go. All right. See, so yeah, we're not going super hard here. We're just going to do like two quick things. We're cutting money. Or we're cutting costs, not cutting money. <laughs> uh, blast through some game reports quickly here. There we go. Here, let's do commission work. Sure. And then we can do a puzzle game. Right? We can return to the puzzle game after this is done. I think is the play. Oh, no. Double production costs for consoles. Well, that sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. This console may never make money. I mean, it's still early in its life cycle, right? We're going to revise it up to level 5 at some point. Um, how yeah, you're talented, you're inexhaustible, but you're also unlucky. I'm going to hire you anyway. All right, we got somebody maxed out here. All right, so this person I'm going to put in the graphics room. Because their programming and game design are both already maxed. All right, there we go. I don't think there's anything I can research right now. No, yeah, no, tech level five. We only care about tech level five at this point. Uh, you're definitely hired. All right, that's probably all I need. Well, I don't need to hype this because it's not my game. So I could continue to just do that. Uh, yeah, you're hired. Oh, we got a graphic designer. Actually, a couple. So you're meant to be a graphic designer. You're meant to be a graphic designer. Neither of these. Oh, there's three of them, though. No, yeah, we got a programmer here. So, okay, graphics artist, graphics artist. You go in there. And, yeah, nobody there worth training. But the other one that's maxed out. Oh, no, wait. Oh, the best skill doesn't really work <laughs> for this. Because they are currently at, yeah, so they, yeah, that's the person I just put in there. Sorry for my confusion there. I'm not used to sorting automatically by best skill, so it threw me off a little bit. That's on me. 100% on me. Yeah, this room needs to get bigger. Uh, you're greedy and you get sick a lot, so pass. Yeah, so let's make this room bigger right now. I think I need to get a couple extra people in here right now. Not after more training. Although more training obviously is good. I am going to continue to train. But I need some extra people. I need some extra people right now. Um, Ten more desks is more than I need. I'm pretty sure. Let's get a radiator or two. I'm trying to avoid putting stuff on this wall because eventually I'm probably going to expand again, right? And then I'll just have to push the wall back. Don't want to do that. So we will put a developer of the year award right there, right there. That should be enough quality. Temperature's fine. Quality's good. Okay. Oh, and put you on the wall right there. Put you on the wall right there. It's overkill. I mean, it's right. <laughs> the gold record's right next to the developer of the year award. That's fine. That's okay. All right. So yeah, we're just waiting for this to be done. So, but I need people in there right now, right? There's not much out there. I mean, I can hire you and you, I guess. Eventually, I'll get them in training, right? And let's end automation here, and let's get a couple of programmers in there. All, time, all kinds of game testers in training still. All right, so let's look for programmer... Skilled worker, efficient. No, let's go all rounder. Uh, but you're unlucky. Uh, Meryl, I do like all rounder combined with efficient, but unlucky. I got to pass. I got to pass. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Well, you have no other traits other than all rounder, but that will work for me. And you're good. Nothing to 
do there. Okay, so let's do a free update for Duel of the Wizards 3. And let's check Duel of the Wizards sales. 81,000, that is really good. Considering this is only a double A game, right? Like it didn't cost me $35 million to make like Lead Dead did. But Lead Dead's increasingly looking like it's going to make money. I'm pleasantly surprised by how good it's doing. All right. You go in the graphics room. Uh, we got a couple here. You sound room. Sound room, I need to also expand. All right. A lot of room expansions this episode. Is that enough? Okay, so I'm going to need to move this this and now we can get some desks going this is kind of ugly the way i have the desks in here it's not it's not symmetrical and that kind of bothers me you know what i mean that's fine all right now we'll need some rugs to keep the quality up probably need an electric heater in the middle here make sure they're warm can't have my employees getting cold all right, so this is the carpet that I've apparently chosen to go with in here. Put them under everybody's uh, chair. Most people's chairs. That should be enough quality, right? Yes, all kinds of quality. All right, so that was eh, six more. Yeah, that should be plenty of desks. Plenty of desks. I do need to get these people trained, the programmers in my mocap studio as well. So probably do that at some point. Yeah, it'll be fine. All right, and in you go. And yeah, you can go in there as well. All right, so that should help. Everything should go faster now. Wow, I got really lucky with getting programmers here. That's probably too many programmers. <laughs> or Wizards 9 off the market, but it made $33 million. So <laughs> we're okay with that, clearly. Um, does anything need a demo or anything? Zombie Hordes 2 is getting low on hype, but it's also about to be off the market, so there's no point in advertising that. Yeah, my console sales are low because of this stupid event. Production costs are high, which means my price is high. 60 to 80, that's fine, because this is strictly for this. <laughs> I was strictly, strictly looking for stars, and I got them. Um, three of the four engine features got a star, including the first one in physics. It was good. I can use Android and Cyborgs now a little more, you know, easier because we have a star in them to start. That was worth it. We're, I'm going to lose money off it. No, I did still make money. 2.5 million. Okay, good. That's even better then. All right, so Puzzle Or. Where are you at, Puzzle Or? Puzzle Or 10. Uh, we'll leave it at double A for now, but like I said previously, I have a feeling it's going to end up being triple A, but we can come back and change it if we need to. Luch Engine, multi platform, PC, Mac, uh, Orc, and Uranus. I could. Do I want to do an Orc exclusive? We'll see. It depends if it's double A or triple A. If it's triple A, no. <laughs> if, it's, if we can fit it in double A, maybe. Right? All right, so everything looks good here. I believe that's correct for puzzle. Well, I think it's 40, 10, 10, 40, right? For puzzle. No, it's 50, 10, 10, 30. So I'm going to do 40, 10, 10, 40. That should be good. Turn on everything here. All right. Okay, so that works. Because interactive movie, a lot of the stuff doesn't work for interactive movie. Ooh, hold on. You don't use either of the internet things. So instead of the Uranus, let's do the game station and reach like uh, 60 million extra people. <laughs> that kind of seems like a no-brainer, right? All right, so everything's good. It's double A, so I could go exclusive orc. No, let's go game station. That'll be fine. That should be good. That should be a good game. And, of course, we're going to go all out in our rooms. This is my own game. I only go cheap on <laughs> games that aren't my own because that's how I roll. 
And we got somebody maxed out over here. A couple people maxed out. So you need graphics and or sound. No, well, we can't put you in the sound room because it's... No, we could put you in the sound room. It's the game testing room that's full. There's somebody maxed out in the sound room as well. And you, okay. You know what? Actually, I'm going to put you in the main room. I know they still need more training, but... I want more people in here right now. Games are starting to be too long to make, right? It, I don't like that. It's too long. It's too long between games. Remember when I used to have to scroll down forever here? I don't anymore. <laughs> I don't like that. All right, let's do another update for Google the Wizards. Yeah, Lead Dead's going to make money. Shout out to people in the comments who said it was going to make money. I was skeptical. I was a little more skeptical, but I do think that it is going to make money now. Unless there's some kind of event, like a crash or whatever, right? Unwheel Engine was licensed. Hey, we made a bit of money off this one. Did make a bit of money off this one. All right, so we got a couple people maxed out in the graphics room here. You are meant for the graphics studio. You are meant for the graphics studio. So let's just grab them and slide them over. Wait, there's... Yeah, okay, so you're... Okay, but what about oh and game design? Okay, so we just want the graphics artist. Game design and programmer need to stay. Okay. And what do we want to do here? Yeah, I keep I don't need to do um, demos for most things because the uh the what's McCall keeps working, the overhype. All right, I act I'm actually gonna mark it. How are my consoles doing? 81 to 79. Perfect time. This is the perfect time to get my consoles up. I finally noticed at the right time. <laughs> it's been a minute. All right. So Zombie Horde 2 lost money. A lot of money. Moved some consoles, though. It happens. It's fine. My bank account is trending the right direction. So it's okay. It's okay that we lost money on that game. Right? It's okay. We can accept that. And let's get the orc back up to full as well. Yeah, we need this event to end, though. My console sales are in the pooper right now because of that event. And that's, I mean, that's part of the game, right? All right, so let's do a pre-release for the press, and then we'll have to do a demo. And hopefully that'll get it over 90 hype. If it does, we can then overhype, right? Of course, if it doesn't, then I have to make a decision. And it did, so let's overhype. I'm assuming it's going to be good enough for overhype. <laughs> Which is an assumption. It may be a bad assumption. Now it's 80 to 100. We still got a couple bugs to work out. Uh, bugs have been worked out. Let's just... Okay. Graphics team is still working. Sound team is still working. Oh, wow. The programming team is really still working. Um, we apparently need some more people. <laughs> My programming room. Which we can do. All right. So there's room. We had, we had room for three people. Did they all like go on break at the same time or something? Like seriously, why were they all gone? Like why is that room going so slow right now? Uh, all right, I got a bunch of people maxed out in training. I also have this room not doing anything right now and I have not planned out my next game at all. Ooh, third person shooter. Should I do a third person shooter? Ooh, sim, I should do a sim. Mm. Do have a sim. No, my sim's already off the market. Yeah, so let's update my sim engine here. Not the tech level four. Yeah, 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 yeah. The good tech level four stuff at that. Nice. All right, so we're going to be waiting for that, but we're waiting for this team anyway. Although they're going to be done before the engine hits, it looks like. And we could do a paid add-on with my main development team quickly if I wanted to, right? Or I could just wait for the engine to be done. No, let's do, I think, let's do a Duel of the Wizards add-on, paid add-on. And yeah, Lead Dead 2 is already profitable. So yeah, I was, ext <laughs> I was extremely wrong when I said that it wasn't going to make money. It's making money. Big time. And getting even better at this stuff is what we want. 98, also what we want. All right, so let's do a paid add-on for Duel of the Wizards 3. We'll go all out. Um, Duel of the Wizards, call this 
Spell Mania. <laughs> Spell Mania, sure. It's like WrestleMania, but for wizards dueling. Just let me have that one. <laughs> we cannot add achievements because we are at 40 of 40. That is not the end of the world. Let's market this up. Finally, something, something for my marketing team to do. I feel like they've been relatively quiet lately. Well, on the marketing front at least, right? All right, everybody's polishing or bug fixing. Okay, so you, all right, well, okay, hold up. Music and sound. Best skill, music and music, sound artist, sound artist, sound artist. Four that are full, move them over. Do I have anybody in here that is not maxed? I do, lots of people actually. So move them up in here. Okay, we got a couple of people maxed out in the game testing room. Move them over. Is there anybody here? I think everybody's maxed in this room, right? Yes. And nobody's maxed in the graphics room. All right, so we got game designer maxed. They're also maxed in programming, so let's switch them up into graphics. You're probably in the same boat. Yep. You can learn graphics. All right, everything is looking good here. Everything is looking up. Everything is coming up loose. How's Puzzle or the Dragon 10 going to sell? I'm thinking good. That's a pretty valuable IP, and it was a 98% review score, right? Both of those, to me, point at that selling pretty well. Um, I am going to do one TV spot for this. Probably not a second, though. Research team has nothing to do. This poor person in training is still in training. Well, they're apparently on break right now because I don't see them. <laughs> Which is fine. Oh, somebody else maxed out here. Okay, so they need programming still. 70 to 90. Yeah, it's an add-on. That's fine. We'll polish it up. Oh, let's update 80 to 100. I'm waiting for marketing here anyway. Uh, marketing is nowhere near done. Uh, yeah, let's polish it up while we wait for marketing. Do a commission work here. Yeah, it should be good. And we're doing what? Type of game next? Sim, right? We're doing a sim. Is the plan. Puzzler sell fairly well. That's a little disappointing, actually. But considering how well the last few games have gone, that uh, event is still going, though. So my console sales are still in the tank. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. Shout out to my patrons. I couldn't do it without them. There is a link in my in the description down below to my Patreon. Also a link to my Discord. Most importantly though, folks, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.